working the Magic Gathering strat. I'm Baba. I'm doing another Theros pre-release draft because so far I like them quite a bit. Let's get our uh, our preview window up there. Get these cards a little bigger. All right. Um, Daxos of Miletus is ridiculously powerful. He goes really well in a uh, blue-white tempo deck. I was getting beat down by him pretty big um, in the last round. Um, so there's some other good stuff here. We got the Griffin, a Knoll, Benthic Giant, uh, Mnemonic Wall, the Acolyte, um, even the Fanatic's good, but I don't think anything's better than Daxos here. So we'll try and put together this blue-white tempo um, archetype, which I think is a really strong um, heroic archetype. Let me bring up that article here. <clears throat> and Jacob Van Lunen had an article come up. That's not the article I want. It's not Jacob. Where is it? Where'd it go? Is it in here? Did I save it? All right. Sam Stoddard, Color Pairs Unlimited, Part 2. There's a Heroic Synergy in Blue-White. Um, is there another Blue-White deck? White-Black Life Gain, Blue-Red, Black-Green, Red-White, Green-Blue. Yeah, so he calls it uh, White-Blue Heroic Synergy. Let's see if we can get some Battle-Wise Hoplites or some Wave Crash Tritons. Um, Cavalry Pegasus is good. I don't think we want Glare of Heresy yet. Just because it's so specific. Fate Foretold seems okay. Snarecaster seems alright. But you know what? I think I'm going to take the Voyage's End here. No, we'll take the Cavalry Pegasus. Ha! Huh. Tricked you. Heliod's Emissary is quite good. A little spendy. We also have Last Breath. We do have a counter spell. Once people know you have this, it's pretty easy to play around, unfortunately. And I'm not even a huge fan of Last Breath. There's Rage of Perforos. <sighs> Disciple. I think we'll just go ahead and take the Emissary here. The Bestow cost is high, um, but he's pretty good just as a four drop. Daxos is a human, so that's pretty cool. Um, and there's nothing else I love here. Last Breath is okay, um, but I think the Emissary is the, uh, the good pick here. <clears throat> and we will keep our options open, um, but I think Divine Verdict Oh, there's also a Wingsteed Rider. That guy's so good. Um, all right, but we can't. And there's a Vaporkin. That makes me really mad. Wingsteen Rider is just really difficult to deal with. Vaporkin is a really fast tempo card. Um, and Divine Verdict is the best straight up removal that we're going to see in white. Um, so I think I'll take the Verdict here. I don't want to pass any removal. That might be the wrong choice. All right, Dauntless Onslaught. Really good. Hopeful Eidolon. Also really good. Prescient Chimera, also really good. <clears throat> there's not a bunch of removal in this deck. So there's all sorts of Chimeras here. Um, and we're seeing a lot of good cards, so many that it's hard to pick. Dauntless Onslaught is really the best 
Heroic Enabler we're going to see. These other cards are really good. Um, but I am going to take this here. Um, well, all right. We want some more creatures. I think I will take the Wingsteed Rider here. Even though that means passing the Onslaught. That might be a mistake, though, because these are <clears throat> these are uncommon, so we're not going to see very many of them, and they're so good. All right. Okay, so I take it back. I am going to take the Onslaught. I do hope to see this wing, a Wingsteed Rider come back around, even though I don't expect it. Um, those are so good. <clears throat> All right, God's willing. We need some more creatures, right? Um, so is it the Breaching Hippocamp? Or do we just take the Enol? The Enol counters gods and other stuff. All right, so let's take it. We don't need to be a creature heavy deck. Um, <clears throat> we will need some more creatures, of course. I like a fate foretold. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Double annul. There are certain decks where this is not going to be great, but most of the time it's going to be pretty good. It Stops all the enchantment creatures, all of the gods, and all of the uh, legendary artifacts. Which is pretty amazing. Okay, so our heroic count is low right now. White has the best heroic creatures. Um, and blue has the second most. So white blue has the most uh, total. <sighs> All right, I'll take the Spark Jolt. And I'll throw that over here for now. All right, we've got Daxos. We need to see some more creatures. We've got way too many Anoles. We will see, but then, you know. We're not going to be playing three annuls, I don't think. All right, not looking super great yet. I mean, we have a, a good rare and some good uncommons to build this deck around, but those white creatures didn't come back. So we're going to be fighting with folks over. <clears throat> Cutter Hydra is worth three bucks. Try out a fate's not worth anything. Hmm. <clears throat> what else do we have? Gainsay, there's the War Caller who's pretty good. There's a Lightning Strike. Of course, there's another Mnemonic Wall. Hmm. <clears throat> I think this Triad of Fates is really cool. So we're going to take it. There's our Battlewise Hoplite. Um, and there's a Divine Verdict, 
and a Griptide and an Omen Speaker. Um, but we want this Hoplite absolutely. <clears throat> it's a foil triad of fates. It probably was not the best pick. There weren't great picks in our colors. Um, <clears throat> but it's a foil, and they're awesome looking. And the fates are awesome anyway. So, how could we not? <clears throat> Holy cow. That guy is scary. Alright, so maybe it's Ray of Dissolution here, which kills a lot of stuff. Um, or maybe a Shipwreck Singer if we're splashing black. <clears throat> yeah. Let's splash black and play this Shipwreck Singer and this Triad of Fates. <sighs> and maybe this guy. What else is here? Um, Alright. So yeah, I think I'll take the Observant Nymph instead. Chronicler Horizon Scholar. 4-4 four, four Flyer for 6. Aqueous Form is completely overpowered, especially on Daxos. Um, so we're going to grab that. <clears throat> Prowler's Helm, also pretty amazing. Look, there's a ton of green cards here. Green is so strong, too. Um, <clears throat> we'll take Prowler's Helm and Breaching Hippocamp. He seems pretty cool. Here is Colorless Removal. Here is Tapadude. I can't help but think that she looks like uh, Natalie Portman a little bit from Star Wars, <clears throat> even with the background and everything. It's a little strange. Um, so it's the other aqueous form. And I think we will take the other aqueous form, actually. Okay. Man, we missed, uh, we passed some good flyers uh, to get Dauntless Onslaughts, which may not have been the right idea. So we're going to need, we need more creatures now. <clears throat> okay, probably not the Prowler's Home. This is one of those cards that the flavor is just so good built into the card. Uh, being a, a siren, making something attack, and then making it weaker when it attacks. It's exactly what a siren should do. So cool. Um, this one, uh, Journey to the Underworld, is a card that I really, really like for the flavor. <clears throat> okay, so Gainsay comes in, even though I'd like to hate Kragma Warcaller because he's scary. Um, Gainsay is a good sideboard card for us. <clears throat> this is a pretty card. OK, so. As far as Warden came back, there's Ray of Dissolution. <clears throat> I 
think that's what I want to play. I guess we'll take the scourge mark there. So it's going to go over there in the sideboard for now. All right, we're up to 10 creatures. Some of them are OK. I'd like some of those faster flyers again. <clears throat> I will kill your black creature. Dump those in the sideboard for now. I like Thassa's Bounty, but if we're going to try and be a bit of a sort of a faster tempo deck, which, God, I don't know if we are. Um, <laughs> Evangel of Heliod, Ordeal of Thassa, Benthic Giant, God's Willing, Jox, right? It's all sorts of good stuff. This guy, 3 5. A block of billion dudes. Hmm. He's not worth a thing, but he's still really cool. Um, yeah, with vigilance. All right, so let's get him. Hmm, a phalanx leader. That guy's good. And we have to pass another Divine Verdict. I took one, and I'm glad to have it. But I've had to pass two, um, just to try and get this thing to work. I feel bad about that. <clears throat> Alright, we're probably not playing any of our black spells. But we'll uh, keep them in for now as an option. That's going to drop our creature count even more if we don't, though. So let's uh, see. we got a whole pack ahead of us. Hmm. Triton Tactics is a funny card. Wave Crash Triton. <clears throat> is your quintessential quintessential tempo card for this set. Um, so we're going to have to grab him. Fill out our three drops a little bit. <sighs> Wingsteed Rider or Vaporkin. Vaporkin's good. Wingsteed Rider is much scarier. So even though I like that Vaporkin, I'm going to take all of the Wingsteed Riders now. They are not getting by me. I don't even care what else was in that pack. Don't care. I'm happy getting some Wingsteed Riders. Thank, <sighs> Thank Mighty Perforos for that one. Or uh, Heliod, I guess, since there is Wingsteed Riders. The unicorn Man, I like that unicorn. I like it more than the snare caster. I like it more than the chimera. I think it's pretty good. The unicorn it is <clears throat> another shipwreck singer. There's a all right. Battle wise valor is a good card. <sighs> Triton shore thief. You're not a good card. That's not a good card. 
Coordinated assault would be good, but we're not running any. All right. Cavern lamp pad. Just the kind of nymph I like. Flame cast wheel, gods willing. If the gods are willing, this card's great. Benthic giant. Battle priest. So bad, battle priest. So bad, benthic giant. No. Eh, eh. Ah, hey. Oh, 3 2. Just a 3 2 flyer. Alright. I think black has to come out, even though it makes me sad. We're going to need to get that double white. Just a little bit of blue. Wild Celebrants goes away. Defend the Hearth goes away. What's the arc for that card? They are defending that Hearth. You do not mess with a Phalanx. Okay. That worked out all right. We didn't get a lot of heroic. Um, I'm really glad we saw those Wingsteed Riders. Okay. I apologize, I'm going to stop eating that now. I skipped lunch to do the last draft. I'm trying to catch up a little bit, but I wanted to also sneak in another draft. Uh -huh. Just bring these up here. Let's move that black line down. All right. If we take out black cards. Yep. <clears throat> God's willing, form, form, valor, valor, Pegasus. He goes up here in the maybe pile, even though he's a 1-1 flyer. Mm -hmm. That's the maybe pile. Valor, Valor, ugh. Phalanx Leader, Fate Foretold, Stymied Hopes, Hoplite. Onslaught, Onslaught, Aeneid, Ray of Dissolution. Wingseed, Wingseed, Wave Crash, Daxos, Unicorn. Maybe we want to go play the Unicorn. Verdict Warden. Verdict Emissary, Hundred Handed One, Hippocamp. Monocle. <clears throat> okay. Got some humans. They want to do some work. <clears throat> All right, so there's twelve creatures. <clears throat> Which is not super many. So we should probably bring in one three for two.
13 creatures, 10 other spells, pretty good curve. All right, it's more or less what we want this deck to do, right? So let's add our land. What do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 white. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blue. We also don't have any double blue. We've got double white, double white, double white, double white, and triple white for monstrous. Hmm. So they want me to do 11 and 6. Yep, that seems good. Oh, I'm curious, we just don't want to do 12 and 5, but no. 11 and 6, I think that's great. And we will submit this. Only 13 creatures, it's a true. It wants to be a tempo deck, it wants to be a heroic deck. We don't have any any bounce, we took out all of these. We have good sideboard against enchantments. Um, so I think let's just look at that card in the preview window for a while. <sighs> <clears throat> yep, I think this is going to be it. All right. Now, I've not played a blue white tempo deck like this. Uh, if you watch my last draft, it was a green black big guys deck, which I really liked. And I played something similar in the paper free release, which was a Naya big guys deck and did pretty well there. Um, and I like that archetype. We'll see um, what this archetype can do. I feel like this archetype is strong, but it may be that a Nessian Asp just screws me over. <clears throat> and that's the fear. But we will have to run it and find out. So I will see you guys in round one.